Hi everyone. Um, <clears throat> so as promised, I'm going to do you a smoky eye makeup look, but I'm going to do um, my whole face, so I'm not just going to do the eyes. Um, so it's quite a full on makeup, but I thought perfect time for you to practice. Um, some of you are going to be furloughed for a bit longer, like me. Um, not that I'm furloughed, I'm actually just not working as such. Um, <clears throat> so, um, first things first, I've prepared my skin. So you would have seen my um, no makeup makeup look video. And then I did one um, also on just a natural eye. <clears throat> First thing is um, the preparation. So this morning I've cleansed my skin with the Vitalizing Cleanser. And then I've applied um, the e um, Extra Hydrating Firming Gel all over. I've let that penetrate on my skin, into my skin for about 30 seconds or so. And then for a, a real... Um, fuller makeup look I always use a good two pumps of the firming flax serum underneath it's like a primer um, acts like a primer <clears throat> really makes the the foundation stick to your skin so I think that's um, a really good recommendation to have that as a primer but I still put on my moisturizer on top and today I've used rich day cream um, and I've also, when I'm using, when I'm doing a full makeup I really want my eyes hydrated so I put the firming flax serum all over my eyes, sorry, around the socket of my eyes, um, then I put the eye cream on top. So then my skin is fully prepared. Um, <clears throat> so onto the makeup. So the first things first, I'm going to use um, a concealer. So living, all of these, everything's going to be living nature apart from my um, mascara. Um, so first of all, I'm going to put on, uh, with my finger to begin with, like I did before for the natural um, no makeup look, I'm going to just um, roughly apply some concealer. I'm using medium because my skin is um, a little bit warmer at the moment because I'm outside walking healthy a bit more and... Um, doing my exercises outside so my skin's a bit warmer at the moment <clears throat> so all over the eyelid because you really want a good um, base for your eyeshadow because you're going to be using quite a bit of eyeshadow for this one so I use um, I like to layer on the makeup because you'll find it lasts a lot longer rather than just putting one thick layer on like if you watch um, a lot of YouTube videos instantly they've got you can they've got flawless skin just from one application um, and that's fine if that's the kind of look that you want I'm going to put um, just a little bit to take colour away here I am going to be using foundation though today and then here Yesterday, it's a tiny little spot there. Yesterday, that started to come up, and I didn't fiddle with it. I got instantly went to my um, cabinet and got um, the Manuka Honey Gel, applied that directly onto the spot, and now it's pretty much gone. If you haven't got the Manuka Honey Gel, you need it. It is brilliant, um, but not just for spots. It's good for sunburn, um, rashes, insect bites. It should be in your first aid kit, basically. Okay, so just a little bit of concealer there. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to put on is um, the foundation. Now, today I'm using Pure Honey. Um, this is a really popular colour. It really blends really well with um, lots of skin colours. Um, I kind of go from this or Taupe. Taupe is really my winter colour and Honey is my summer. Um, but there's lots of other colours to choose from too, so um, if you need um, some help with choosing your colour, just let me know. Um, now, this is brilliant um, <clears throat> at lasting, so it's really great for an evening out, but it's also really good for um, a whole day where you want to look um, just made up um, all day long. Um, 
So because it really dries on the skin um, and sets on the skin, should I say, really rather than dries. I don't want you to make it sound like it's a drying product. It's not. It will give, give, a, give a, a light luminous look to your skin. Um, but because it dries, it dries quite quickly. So once it's set on the skin, that's where it's going to stay. So um, the best thing to do is apply it with the Living Nature Foundation Brush. Um, this one's quite a thin makeup brush, so a lot of the makeup brushes are quite fat, which is fine for a synthetic product, but because this isn't synthetic, you'll have been really needing to be using this um, brush with it. Now I probably will use about two pumps, um, but I'm going to apply just one to begin with. This needs shaking up a little bit more. It's been a while since it's been used because I've got another one in the house. Hang on. <coughs> They need a really good shake to begin with when you first use them. This probably is a new one. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pick up um, the product that's on my hand with um, the makeup brush. And then I am going to use very small, quick strokes in one area first. Now, I would always say to you, is to do with the place that you want to be covered mostly, so your worst part. So if you've got rosacea, it might be here on your nose or on your cheeks. Um, it might be you've got a blemishy chin, so you want to do that first. So the thickest part really needs to be on your um, worst areas, what you feel your worst areas are. But I always go from the centre out so very quickly, <clears throat> and go all the way out to the hairline. However, I haven't come to pick any more product up to go to the hairline because I still want it to look natural. I don't want it to look caked. Um, that's not the look I do here um, at Mimi. So. Um, even though I'm doing a full makeup, it's not a caked on makeup. So even I'm going over where I put the concealer. Now I do like to blend, mix this foundation. So this is the pure foundation. I like to mix it with the illuminating foundation because I like a more glowy look to my skin. But I'm just showing you now what it looks like on its own and then I'll decide whether today I'm going to put on some um, illuminating. I probably won't just leave it, I'll just leave it like this so that you can see. I have quite a bit of pigmentation, or did have should I say, on my forehead. I want to get that covered. So what I would say is don't, um, you know, go over the area and, and be, get that area perfect before you go to the next area because once this is set, you can't really move it, which is a good thing once it's on. It's not so easy to apply this with your fingers, I have to say. The other, the tinted moisturisers are, and the illuminating is, but this one not so much. I'm going to put um, a layer over my eyes just like I did with the concealer. Um, as this is a mineral, I have to say a wood recommend you not keep applying it because now I'm looking and I'm thinking yeah, I definitely need more but I know if I go away from the mirror for you know a minute or so and then come back I know I'll be happy with the way it looks I'm just putting a little bit more on my cheeks And now again, because it's a mineral, they really like to um, 
have the warmth of your skin to really settle into your skin. So what I'm going to do now is just use my hands. My hands are warm, so warm your hands up and then just warm the foundation into your skin and you'll find this will really help it to settle so it's not sitting on the surface of your skin and it's really just melts into the into your skin while still having a coverage of course I've not got the mirror now so I think I'll look at my skin once I've done this and see if I want to put any of the illuminating foundation on So actually, no, I'm happy with that. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on. But now with the concealer, I'm going to use a brush. So um, I have these brushes in stock, I have the foundation brushes. I have most of the brushes um, that I'm going to use today in stock, so if you need anything. Um, so pick up the same concealer. So again, I'm using medium. And now I want I can put it a little bit more directly where I want it. If you want to blend it a bit more, always use your finger to get it blended in. Okay, so um, foundation and concealer um, is all on. Um, I want to set this with um, powder. So I'm going to use um, the Luminous Powder and I'm using um, Medium. Um, light I'd probably use in the winter. Um, but I'm only going to use a very light covering just to set that foundation a little bit more. This in itself is a foundation. So um, it will also add a bit more coverage which is why I don't necessarily make my skin completely flawless with um, the foundation because I want it to, um, I know that I'm going to put this on as well to give it a little bit more um, coverage and staying power. See that is so much better. So tiniest, tiniest amount because I'm not using it necessarily as foundation but it still does cover a little bit and then that is all set. Okay. So I've made um, my skin, um, I've taken the shape out of my skin really with the foundation. So now we want to um, add in um, some colour. So uh, with my um, more natural makeups, um, I use the Cool Winter, which is more of a kind of peachy colour um, for blusher. I'm going to use the, the Warm Summer. See this gorgeous flat brush I'm going to really use... Um, to directly put it where I want the blusher. So pick the blusher up. I'm going to put it in a different place than I did with um, the natural makeup. And I'm going to put it slightly under my cheekbones. Pick a little bit more up. The reason I'm using it a little bit under my cheekbones is because I'm probably going to want to put some highlighter up here. So you don't want to be too cheeky um, okay. with this look um, because it's all about the eyes really. 
Um, so I feel that that's enough for there, but I'm going to put on um, a very tiny bit of summer bronze, um, just because I can't really do a makeup with <laughs> without a bit of bronzer. But if you don't want it, you've got enough colour, that's fine. I'm just going to use it just to um, give it a little bit more warmth to my skin. Even though that's just a tiny little bit, I feel much better with that. I might put a little bit more on um, once I've got the rest on. Okay, so um, you can put a um, primer now on your eyelids. Um, I really love, there's a Levera one, um, really, really nice. It um, comes in a little tube like the concealer, looks very much like this. You put the tiniest amount on and then you just dot it on. Um, over your eyes and it really allows the makeup to stick to it you don't get any creases or anything so um, it's um, really good for a full makeup look um, okay so first of all um, I'm going to be using um, sand so as my base so I'm going to be using um, quite a big, flat, uh, fluffy brush for this. And I'm going to put the eyeshadow over the whole of my eyes. right up to my eyebrows. Okay, so I'm going to be using quite classic colours for um, for the um, smoky look. So I'm now going to be using slate. Now, don't be scared; it is black, but um, the, with mineral makeup, it always looks darker in the palette. You can get it as dark as this on your eyes if you wanted to. Um, so even though I'm doing a full um, makeup look, um, I. I don't really do it sort of caked on. So I'm going to use a nice big, um, this is called a smoky eye brush. It kind of goes into a point, but it's quite fat. Um, the, there is a smaller version if this is too big for your eyes. Um, so just pick the brush, to, um, pick the colour up in the palette onto the brush. And then I'm going to use this on the outer corners of my eyes but blending in about a third and then going up above my socket. You can wing it out a little bit. Now you can see that is nowhere near as dark as it is in the palette. So you can just build and build and build until you get the look that you want. Now this is makeup, so really just go for it. You can take it off. You know, it's, you don't need to be worrying about making mistakes with this. <clears throat> Perfect time to have a little play. I am going to show you how to make this even darker in a moment. But really I just want to get it where I want it. I don't ever want to bring it... Um, below my eye, so as my eye, where the corner of my eye is, this line, I don't want the eyeshadow any lower than that. Even for a smoky eye look. If you're younger, then you can, you can kind of bring it all the way round, um, but um, that's not good for, that's not a good look for me. 
there's not actually not that many people that can carry that off. Cheryl Cole, um, or whatever her name is, is uh, probably about the only ones that can do it. Okay, now I'm going to get my smaller um, smoky eye brush. So it looks more like an eyeliner brush really, but it's not as fine as an eyeliner brush. Pick that up and then take that underneath the eye. All the way to the corner. In a corner. Right under that, I'm going underneath my eyelashes. My next colour is called Pebble. This is a really popular colour. It's like a, a really nice grey. Um, and you can, um, if you wanted to, you could um, do the smoky part with this um, if this was too dark for you. That would still look really lovely. So now using a flat eyeshadow brush, pick the eyeshadow up. And now I'm going to just go over the, my um, lid a little bit. So blending in where the slate was. So a little bit more into the centre and above the socket. Okay, now I've done that, I can see that I need to put the darker on a little bit more. I'm going to use more of an angled brush this time. Just building it up on the outer corners and just taking it out, winging it just a little bit. Okay. Um, right, for the centre of my eye, I'm going to use an even lighter grey. This is called Glacier, and um, it's got a really nice shimmer to it, so it really lifts the eye. Um, so I'm going to use a different, um, but sim very similar to the other eyeshadow brush, but this is just a different one for a different colour. And then I'm going to use it on the centre lower lid, to it, toward the inner corner. This is a really, really flattering colour.
And then lastly, I'm going to apply some more um, sand eyeshadow. So this is one we used at the base at the very beginning. And I'm going to put this just underneath my eyebrow just to lift it. And it just finishes that off. Kind of completes the look, makes it look a bit more professional. Okay, now let's put some eyeliner on. So I'm gonna use the eyeliner now, um, and I'm gonna use it in Midnight. So Midnight is, is black, um, which kind of completes this look. But if you're going for a lighter version of this and just using, say, Pebble, Sand, and Glacier, then you might want to go for Storm, which is um, the gray, which is really flattering, really lovely. So um, you'll see I've just sharpened that. You always sharpen your um, eye pencils every okay. time you go to use them. Just one turn, and it just gets rid of um, any bacteria and any, um, it just stops any kind of cross infection. So now I'm going to use the eyeliner to draw a line just above my eyelashes. Now again, you can be brave with this. It's just makeup. If we don't like it, when we finish, we just take it off. But go right to the inner corners. And just keep kind of coming back from the mirror, keep looking back in the mirror again, coming further away and just seeing what it looks like as a whole because obviously you're analysing it really closely um, and actually when you sit back you think, oh I can be a bit braver than that and I can put a bit more on. These are really nice soft eyeliners too, really easy to use. And then you can if you want to, like I showed you with the um, natural looking brown, brown new colours last week, um, wing it out a little bit. Now everybody's wing needs to be in a slightly different place, I can help you with that. And bring the colour right in. This is really is a full makeup look, so bring it right into the inner corners. Um, and then, the classic uh, smoky eye look, we put the eyeliner on the rim, inner rim of the eye. Now this is fine with these um, Living Nature eyeliners because they're natural. So, uh, but it's again really important that you sharpen them. Bring it right to the inner corner, and that's kind of completed that smoky eye look gives it more of that authentic smoky eye look that uh, that you see everywhere. But if that's too much for you, then you can leave this bit out, it's fine. I just wanted to show you that it's totally okay to do that. Okay, um, and now I want to um, make that look a little bit more finished. So I'm going to use um, my angled small eyeliner brush or small eyeshadow brush um, with the slate so remember the slate is the black but I'm going to wet this brush so I'm just going to put it I've got a little bit of water here I'm just going to um, wet it a little bit um, you don't want um, to put your brush now right in the middle so just take um, take the eye shadow 
from the edge and always use that as your wet bit and then this will really deepen it so if if this the black the slate that I've put on here isn't dark enough for you you can wet your eyeshadow and it'll go really dark but I'm going to use it um, as a defining the eyeliner so exactly where I've kind of winged that over so this, so putting um putting it on wet will blend that eyeshadow a little bit more and intensify it where you put that eyeliner. See so, so see the difference now. This one now is a lot more um, intense looking. I think this is really great for you can uh, for an evening. But you, you know you can do this with any of the colours in um, Living Nature. They can be used wet and dry. I mean, how cool is that? And I'm going to intensify underneath too. Remember, we did this at the beginning when we first put the slate on. I'm just going to intensify it a little bit more. Okay, so quite full on, but we I think we can go a little bit more than that. So uh, the thing is, as you're doing your makeup, you can see where um, where you can take it a little bit more. Um, but it's really good just to kind of sit back, have a look, have a look in different lights. What kind of light are you going to be seeing in? Are you doing this because you're going to be on a meeting? Um, or you just want to have some fun with your friends? Or when we are out of lockdown and we can go out, uh, what lighting are you going to be seeing in to try and do your makeup in that light? You now they always say to do your makeup in natural light which is kind of right but if you're not going to be seen in natural light you want to see what it's going to look like you know it with dimmed light or candlelight or disco lights or whatever so um not that we've got disco lights at home or maybe you have so i'm just intensifying that a little bit more now i've got the eyeliner so i feel like i can take that a bit more Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I could just keep messing around forever. So um, next then um, is mascara. So um, Living Nature, as you know, do do mascaras. And if you want something that is really lovely and lengthening, they're really gorgeous. If you've got sensitive eyes, they're perfect. Um, I'm going to be using the um, Avante Dynamic Mascara in black. They have a really nice curved brush, so you can get a really good um, lift with this. So get it underneath your eyelashes, right to the root, do a little wiggle so you're right at the root, and then I just gently close my eyes onto the brush. And this mascara now, they've reformulated it, so it's really buildable. So you can, um, Put another layer on and another layer and another layer. And with this look, you do want to layer your mascara. So you see what nice um, curl I've been in lift I've been able to get with this mascara. Um, if you don't know about the Avanti mascaras, they've got lash growth serum technology in them, so um, you can grow your eyelashes while wearing mascara. Really perfect combination with the lash serum itself. That's how I've got such long eyelashes. Ta -da. Um, so 
<clears throat> now I feel like my eyebrows are a little bit lost. So I'm going to use the Avante Dynamic Mascara in brown. Um, you could use an eyeshadow, so you could use a brown eyeshadow. Um, the tussock in the um, Living Nature is nice if, you, if you're a bit fairer than me. Um, but this gives a, a quite a dramatic look. Again, it's got the um, growth, hair growth serum in it. So um, I'm growing my eyebrows. In fact, looking at them this morning, I think I've got there with it. So I've been using the brow serum as well. Um, but just to give them a bit more definition. So I'm going to just do little strokes as if I'm kind of creating hairs where I want it. So I always want my arch a bit more defined first, so I always do that bit first. And then with whatever's left on the brush, come and do the bulk of the brow. Pick a little bit more up, do the other side. So they still look natural, but just a little bit more um, defined. You can go for it if you wanted to. I don't like the kind of sluggy look, so not going to do that for me. Um, I have noticed I've blobbed a little bit of mascara, so these things happen. So I'm just going to get my concealer brush and get that off. Okay, so I'm going to put a tiny bit more mascara on, uh, sorry not mascara, um, concealer, just underneath now um, my eyes, just to lift that a little bit. So I'm going to put it where I want it and then use my finger just to gently warm it in the skin and you can see it blends it without moving it. So don't rub it on the skin Place it exactly where you want it with your brush and then warm it with your finger to blend it in. While I'm here, I'm going to just put a little bit around my lips because today I'm actually going to show you a bit of a stronger lip. Okay, so with this look, I would either go for, well, probably with me, I would probably go with Precious. This is my kind of go-to colour, wear it all the time. Um, and with such a dramatic eye, then this, you can see, would be lovely and all the emphasis is going to go onto the eyes. Um, but um, for playing's sake, I'm going to use Summer Rain. This is a really popular bridal colour too. So because I'm going for... Um, more of a, uh, a stronger lip. I'm going to use um, some lip liner. So lip liner um, is really good just to kind of match it to your own lip colour. And I'm not drawing on 
a shape, I'm literally going around my own shape. So it's quite an old fashioned thing to do to draw on a lip line to create a lip line that you hadn't got or um, to correct a shape but when you're close up you can see that correction so just embrace your flaws and if you've got one side thicker than the other don't worry about it so I'm using summer rain um, so this is a really nice um, kind of mm, pinky kind of plummy color So I'm using my fancy um, lip brush. And I'm just going to fill in around uh, in between the lip liner. Now if you apply with a lip brush, you can layer it. Just as I like layering everything else, you noticed I layered my foundation, I layered my eyeshadow, I'm now layering the lips, so it'll last a lot longer. You can blot in between each layer for the lipstick. And then leave it so your last layer don't blot um, and then leave it to be glossy and then what I would do if you're going out for the evening you can use this lip brush so pick loads of lipstick up with this lip brush and then it's got a lid on it so if you've got a tiny bag all you need to do is take that out with you if you prefer you can take that too and then just apply it straight along with that because that's the one thing you will need to reapply because you're drinking and you're talking and you pretty much eat your lipstick so um, you will definitely need to reapply that but the rest should stay so I'm very happy with that so um, it's um, a very glam evening look or a full-on daytime look if you wanted to um, some some people wear as much makeup as this um, every day which is cool that's really fine um, but do have a play with it um, I'm just going to try and show you in different lights now hopefully you're not losing me pretty much it. I'm just noticing now, um, depending on what I would be wearing, um, I am going to use um, some of the um, luminous powder just on my neck. So if I was wearing um, something quite low, then also because it's kind of a foundation as well and you've got maybe you have if it is some imperfections on your uh, decollete, then you could use it there. But here now, just blending it in, we'll just make it look um, a little bit more flawless, a bit more streamlined. So then, I think that's it. Do my hair, put some jewellery on, obviously get out of my tracksuit, and then we're good to go. So um, I've got pretty much all of that in stock. Um, I wanted to show you the um, eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette is really cool. I don't know whether you've noticed, I was taking it out of this all the time when I was doing um, my makeup just now, and it was sticking to that, which was really handy. So the eyeshadows um, come separately, which is fantastic, because you will find that you use one or two colors more than everything else. And normally you have to 
um, buy that whole big pa palette again of these palettes that are really fashionable um, but actually you'll realize that most of it's wasted so with these you buy them individually so you buy the palette which is just six pounds and then you put in see then that sticks in there you put in the colors that you want so there's slate there's glacier in there and then um, sand and then pebble that's what I've used today so if you wanted all four colours, I would throw in the um, um, palette for free. Um, and then as you started to use them, I imagine that slate um, sand would go first. You just lift that out, you buy a new one, and you put that back in, and good to go again. So perfect. Um, but yes, so got got all pretty much all of that in stock. Um, got hopefully having another delivery today. So if anything is um, missing, then it should be there. Um, but happy smoky eye playing. Let me know how you get on. Show me some pictures. Um, if you need me to do some troubleshooting, then just ask me. Um, and anyway, I hope to see you real soon. Might be July now, but um, keep going. Keep being safe and healthy. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.